what's up my beautiful family welcome back to another video if you are new to my channel or this is your very first time you are coming across this channel hi how are you doing my name is Wendy for my returning viewers I honestly appreciate you all thank you so much for clicking and watching on today's video if you've not subscribed to my channel please do well to click on the red subscribe button turn on your post notifications so you will not miss any of my fantastic video that I put out out there and please do well to give the video a thumbs up comment down below and also share with your friends and family all right so without wasting much of our time we are gonna be delving right into today's video so family in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the documents you will need for you to apply for your Canada work permit. I know a lot of people have been telling me to please make a video on this uh, topic. And today I decided to make that video because I see that this is something that is gonna help a whole lot of people. So please, I would definitely advise you to get your pen and your paper and also sit back, relax yourself while we delve right into today's video. So one thing I would definitely advise you is that before you start applying for your work permit, please try as much as you can to gather all the documents that you need before you can start this application. And in Canada, there are two types of work permits that you can have. One is employer specific work permit and also the second one is open work permit. I know someone will ask what is employer specific work permit and also open work permit. So employer specific work permit is a type of work permit that you will get depending on the situation of that particular job. Employer specific work permit will tell you the duration of that job that you will get, uh, the title of your job and also how long and the position you're going to be working for that employer. So in, a, in essence, it means that you will only be working for that employer for that duration that you were given that employment. Then open work permit simply means that you can absolutely work for another employer at any point at any time. So if you are the primary applicant and you are looking to get an employer specific work permit, then you will definitely need to have a job contract you will need a job offer or employer contract. So the very first document that you have to get is your employment contract, okay? And if you're applying for your dependent or you are applying for your spouse, they don't need to have employment uh, contract because they are already exempted. However, the only thing you need to get for them is their job contract, okay? Number two document that you're gonna be providing apart from your job contract is two passports or for yourself, two passports for your spouse, and also two passports for your children. Depending on number of children that you have, take for instance, you have three kids, that means you're gonna be getting two, two passports for each of them, including yourself and your spouse. You are also required to submit your passport bio for your children and for your spouse and yourself as well, if your children are gonna be traveling with you. We are, so we are gonna be looking at the third document that you need to uh, get for you to apply for your Canada work permits. The next third document that, that you, you're gonna be submitting is your resume. Like we likely said, is, some people call it CV. So the particular CV or the resume that you used while you were applying for that job is what you are gonna be submitting as well. And also, if your, if your spouse is traveling with you, you will also need to submit their own resume as well because they will be getting an open work permit, okay? Number four document that you will need is an evidence, a proof to show that you meet the requirements of the job offer, which could be your academic certificate or your professional certificate. All this simply shows that the job that you got in Canada, that you meet the requirement. Otherwise, you are not gonna be getting your work permit. Number five document is police clearance. You need to show evidence that you don't have any 
criminal conviction. So you need to get your original police clearance, which will help to show that you don't have any issue or any criminal conviction. Once you have your police clearance, you also need to get a proof of employment showing that you are currently working, which means that you have the skill set needed for that particular job. Meanwhile, if you are self-employed, meaning that you are not working for anybody, rather you work for yourself, you only need to get your business certificate, which is going to be showing them that you only work for yourself and you are not working for anybody, as well as your tax receipt to prove that. The next document is going to be your marriage certificate if you are married. Even if that your spouse is not traveling with you, I will encourage you to uh, include your, bed, your marriage certificate so that tomorrow if you want to apply for your spouse, it will be so easy for them to join you. And you also need to include your children's birth certificate. In as much as your children will not be traveling with you or if they will not be traveling with you, it's also required that you include their birth certificate so that tomorrow as well, they will be able to join you if you wish to bring them along with you later tomorrow. So that would be nice. It's something that I would definitely encourage you to also include this document as well. Okay. And for those that are not married, then you don't need marriage certificates because you don't have it. Okay. The next document that you need to get for you to apply for your Canada work permit is health insurance. But don't forget that if your employer is going to be sponsoring you or will be providing health insurance for you, then you don't need it. But if your employer is not going to provide all that for you, then you need to go ahead and purchase a private health insurance for yourself and also for your spouse if they are traveling with you and for your children as well. And you need to do that before you will get your visa. If you are traveling with a minor whose both parents are not around, then you need to get a letter of custody from both parents. However, if one of the parents is traveling with the minor while the other person is staying behind, then you will also need to get a notarized permission from your spouse. In that way, you will be able to travel with that minor. Meanwhile, don't forget that all this information that I'm sharing with you today, I got them from IRCC website, which is Canada.ca, and that is exactly where you can apply for any Canada visa that you want, whether it is a work permit, visitor visa, or study permit so you can go to the website and start your application now if you want to get a direct link to the document they already grouped them according to your country some of the countries have additional documents that you need to provide just like nigeria they will require you to provide your family ties while other country require you to get additional information so all you need to do is to click on the link in the description box of this video and it's going to take you straight to the document list all right however if you check and you didn't find your country's list drop your comment in the comment box below and i will try to update that okay thank you so much for watching till this time i hope you find this video informative if it does please do not forget to give it a thumbs up like the video comment down below and also please share with your friends and family someone out there might be looking for this great and incredible information all right and if you've not subscribed to my channel Please do well to click on the red subscribe button and turn on your post notification so that anytime I upload an incredible video like this, you will be the first to get notified. Stay blessed, stay safe until I come your way next time. Bye!